Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome to a Pharaoh video where we're going to be playing some Pharaoh today because the remake was announced and confirmed and to tide us over, uh, to bide our time while we wait for that to release, we've got some custom missions to play. And I was looking through the list of the default custom missions and, uh, well, there's, uh, there's, there's some interesting ones, there's some interesting ones. So, here we are returning to our dynasty in Pharaoh. Uh, we can uh, go to custom missions and looking through all of this, there is NAFTA, the North African Free Trade. Uh, in 1492 BC, there's a normal climate, very large land, some military activity, a hard mission, and the win conditions are 30,000 people with five palatial estates, a sun temple, a grand pyramid complex, and a medium pyramid. That should give us some stuff to do today. So we're of course playing on very hard and this is not the remake so there's bugs and all so we're gonna be looking at that. Let's go to the city and see what we're dealing with. Ah, oh, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've played Pharaoh, right? It's been a while since we've done this. So I've got to reacquaint myself. But this is not an easy map. There's this giant river going through the middle. You know, there's some hunting you know there's some land farms here but not a lot of like floodplains to work with a little bit of reeds there uh, there's some uh ore bearing rock down there but there's a lot of ore bearing rock over here and we do have gold mines my favorite thing my favorite thing but the starting funds are 2250 and a gold mine costs 375 <laughs> so not to mention we would have to build the palace the city palace which is a thousand eight hundred so we probably can't go straight for gold we probably can't go straight for gold let's have a look at where we are on the map by the way I set the names of the cities to classic so they're all slightly different names now from our playthrough well most of them Kerma is the same uh, I think Baharia Oasis is the same. This is Heliopolis, though. Uh, so, just for a change of flavor. We're here in Thebes. <laughs> ah, okay. So, what can we do? They buy papyrus. They buy straw. Let, let's find something that we can actually sell. Uh, papyrus. That's a land trade route. That's a land trade route. That's, that's a lot of papyrus we can sell. Um, I should probably check what we can actually produce. Raw materials. Wood? Wait, woodcutter? There are trees on this map? There are trees on this map! Oh wow, we can produce wood, clay, plain stone, limestone, granite, reed, gold, copper. That's a lot of stuff. How about farms? Grain, barley, flax. Okay, okay. Ronnie, thank you so much. Ah, so we can produce quite a lot of stuff, right? Okay, let's, let's have, have a look. Papyrus is probably an easy one. Um, there is linen as well. There was, there was no gems, right? We don't have gemstone mines? Yeah, we don't have gemstone mines. Okay. Uh, more papyrus and reeds, pottery. These are, that's a water trade route. We could produce weapons and sell those. Because we can get copper and weapons going. All right, so let me see the prices. What? What? <laughs> oh. Oh, it's intended not a bug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I don't think there's any bugs with the prices. There, there's no, there's nothing we can sell. But buyers pay one. We can import whatever we want. At almost no cost. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so export is completely worthless. Which means we have to rely on... On the gold mines. There was only one thing that had a price, right? Chariots. Can we produce chariots? Does anyone buy chariots? Does anyone buy chariots? That's the only thing with a price. 
What are the odds of someone buying a chariot? No. No. Okay, so no exports. No exports. <sighs> okay, I did not realize that was part of the challenge of this. So that's why this is called the North African Free Trade. <laughs> Alright, um, but considering that, that means we can import a ton of food for basically no cost, right? That's where we're gonna support 30,000 people. But how do I... how do we even deal with the problem of making money? Like, just building, like, two gold mines and a palace will bankrupt us. So I think we have to go into debt. And just try and be in debt. Kingdom rating is 40. We just have to be in debt for a few years while we use peasant labor to mine gold. Right? Right? Just, just go all in, go heavy into debt, and mine a ton of gold. So... Okay, immigration and comes from this side. We are going to have to cross over. Ferry landing, where can it be? Um, wow. Okay, I see what they did. I see what they did. The ferry landing... ...will get cut off when there's a flood. So, we could go to there, but then... No, there's there's no way... Oh, here. Oh, I see. It has to be there. There's nowhere else, right? Nowhere else can can take it. There's, there's only one spot for a ferry landing on this side, if I want to avoid the floodplains. Okay, okay. So, we're definitely going to need that and that because hopefully it goes around this way so the ships don't go here during the flood season and then we're gonna have to have one for here oh and everything costs so much okay but that gives us access without crossing the floodplains i'm gonna have to build a housing block to just get things going. But we don't have global labor, so I have to plan this really carefully. Where can the palace go? City palace. What's the closest? So we've got ore along these three rocks here. So the city palace is going to be about here. So we will have a road like here, I think it is. Yeah. The road's going to be along here for the city palace. Okay. So I need to get some, some people over here first. They need to move in this way first. I don't think I'm going to build every gold mine possible. So I'm going to need a road along here. To cross over to access this gold area and I'm gonna need houses to be like here. I assume a gold mine can go there yeah. and this will be can I do this? I'm just trying to be so efficient. We're already down to 1,800. So if this is... No, I think I'm just going to have to have a couple extra houses. So there's going to be a roadblock here. So there can be a gold mine here. Yes. So there'll be a road crossing over, like... There'll be a road there, and there'll be a road going that way, because I think I can fit a gold mine here. Yeah. So, I just need 
maybe a couple extra. Uh, that should do, right? That should be enough housing access. So the palace will go there. We can fill this with gold mines. Okay. Are people moving in? Just the start? Where are they coming from? Where's the there they are. There they are. People say that this city has plenty of food to go around. People say, huh? People say, huh? <laughs> plenty of food to go around. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, so then, once those people move in, we just need to have a lot of employees. Right? So I think I'll set up a housing block right here. What's the what's the cheapest way I can go about this? Maybe I don't do a housing block. I just line this road with houses and have firehouses, right? And I think I do that. So I need these people to make their way over first. They're gonna have to cross like this. They go there. And then they cross like this. Okay, once they, they land here, I'll slow the game down. So they're gonna make their way over there. Now I just need so many people. Like, a ton of employees. So I guess I'll just use this. That alone costs a thousand. Yeah, we have to go straight into debt, don't we? This should get us all the people we need, though. Maybe I'll, I'll be conservative. Do this first. Okay. Let's make sure... Nothing burns. Nothing collapses. Okay. You guys move in there. You know, maybe stick a couple wells around. Just to help that along. Okay, so those people are going to move in. Over on this side, I'm going to need... Equally. Uh, firehouse and Architect's Post. Let's make sure we prioritize... Infrastructure. Before anything. Okay. Let's also... Yeah, okay, no, that's fine. Oh, let's drop taxes to zero. We're not taxing anyone. So now we just need everyone to move in. This is going to be a challenge. This is actually the, the hardest start I've ever had. <laughs> no, no mission started this in debt. Oh, no. A problem. Antelope. <laughs> My plans ruined. <laughs> uh, yeah, the remake confirmed global labor will be an option. Okay, well, all of these people are moving in. Okay, so what's my solution here? I can't build the palace where I wanted to build it. I could build it up here a little bit, but it's taking like valuable land. Building it here will be a bit far from those gold mines later on, but I guess I just don't have to consider that for now. I should just build it closer to here, right? Yeah. Okay, the palace is going down and we're going into debt. All right. This alone takes 30 people. Raw materials, gold mine. And now I just go further into debt with gold mines. One, two, three, four. Those need to be connected by road. If I'm building more, raw material, gold mine, if I'm going one, okay, two, 
So it'll be here. I'm just planning the distances so I don't have to waste any money. Yeah, I'm in debt. We can go down to 5,000. Down to there. Here. To there. I think one, two, one, two. Down to here. I think that's correct. So one, two, three. So that's where we put our firehouse and architect's post. Okay, now how many people are we short by? Currently 11 employees? No, no, no workers live nearby there. Just in case, I'm gonna put two houses right there. In case there's any stability issues. All of these are slowly moving in. Okay, let's just have people move in and we can start collecting gold. And I have to split my money between placing gold mines. I guess I should just put them all down. And then placing houses to bring in more people. Got by 48 workers. How many people can move in here? A good amount, actually. A good amount. Let, let's wait before we... Before we place more houses. We'll keep an eye on, on things. Okay, that's for the monuments. 84. All the gold mines are running, even though they're a little short on workers. Police stations? That's a good point. Our palace will be robbed. Due to the unemployment. Police station. Police station. Police station. There's the flood. So these guys cross here. Now I hope they don't cross this way. Got by 74 employees. Have all these houses moved in? Almost. I feel like we're gonna need some more houses. Let's do that. One of these houses can hold... How many? That actually should be enough. Pop a well there. Okay. So yeah, they're going around this way. That's great. So no one will be lost. And now we just have to wait for the gold, really. I'll place more gold mines if we can get enough people in. That should stabilize employment by putting those two houses there. Nothing should be burning. If, like, a gold mine burns down... <laughs> that's... that's horrible. Alright, first load of gold! Coming on in. Alright, we are starting to turn a little bit of profit. Okay. 53 employees. Don't hurt too much. I get those in. We need another 30 employees. I have room for another gold mine up here, that's why. fit one here. So I think we're bringing in enough people to do that. So let's do that. So this is the max number of gold mines I can have here. I don't think a gold mine can fit here when it's that far up the edge yet. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gold mines. An excellent inundation. Thought workers need to live nearby the workplaces. Yeah. You just need access to the houses, and then these things can have access to the entire population. That's how the game works, and that's why the global labor pool just makes more sense. Though it does make the game a lot easier. Okay. This map is insane. Physician and apothecaries? Yeah, that's a good point. We're gonna need to throw some physicians down. Position, position, we do have malaria on this map, 
We have to keep that in mind. Physician. And we're going to need apothecaries as well. Apothecary. 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 Okay. And hopefully we can get out of debt before we lose all our favor. That's pretty much all we can do, right? I think I've done that. I've, I've done this as best as I can to my ability. If I want, I could expand to this gold area here as well. But I might want to get out of debt first and then go back into debt to set that up. People are pleased with me? Oh, okay. Good. Alright, gold streaming in. How's our employment? Short by 28, really. Just... Bring in a few extra people. 37. Okay, that should get us all the work as we need. Right, nothing's burning, nothing's collapsing, everything's set up correctly, we're... Debt's down to 2-4. I wouldn't dream of letting my reputation sink so low. Our city's bad reputation is inviting attack. 36. 36, it's dropped to 36. Yeah, we definitely have to get out of debt. Let's go, let's go. We're still short 21 employees. Short by 20 employees. Yeah, that should just about break even, I think. But okay, so let's pop one more house down. Okay, so that's all the employees we need. Debt is approaching a thousand. There we go. That's 700, 500. Debt anniversary, I know. Kingdom ratings down to 21. We cannot have it go any lower. Get out of debt, get out of debt. We hit debt again, that's annoying. 21, okay. So now, I'm going to let the money stockpile and we're gonna slowly build up this next area to just get even more gold coming. The palace is a little bit far, but... Because these, these antelope... Why are there only two antelope here? Oh, they're all just spread out over here now. Okay, fine. So I'm going to be drawing a road along here without going back into debt. I'm going to roadblock this. And I'm going to start planning this next gold mine area. We can go up to here. And we're going to need some houses this side as well. With the roadblock there, so both roads have access to housing. Yeah, okay, we need that to come in like that. Gold mine's going to be there, and then there, and then there. Easy shape. And then to here. Just laying out the road first. So there. There. Like that. Alright, money is coming in. Money is coming in. But the sooner we set up the gold mines, the better. We can go down to there, okay. To like that. We can fit quite a few gold mines here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. Okay, it's quite a lot. We're just gonna need lots of population. So let's let's set up another little thing here. I'm gonna roadblock right there. This time I think I can just pop... Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Everything already walks this way. 
I forgot the gods. I forgot the gods. Okay, hold on. What gods are we dealing with? Everyone's resentful. All of them. Okay. We're gonna have to use this money for shrines. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's pop some shrines... Where? Does it matter? No, I probably want to demolish this entire thing later. So I think I will just use this area here. Let's give everyone one shrine. Slow the game down. Cyrus, Ra, Pata, Thet, and Bust. That should keep them kind of happy, but I probably want to put another row before... Who's our patron god? Osiris. I probably want to go... Osiris... Ra... Ta... Set... Bust. Okay. Okay. That should keep him happy. No industries to punish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we want to curse you, but you're in such a bad state. I guess we'll let you off the hook. <laughs> um, you know, we're, get we're getting money in. So I think I'll just put another row, just to keep them extra happy. Just make sure nothing goes wrong. Ra, pata, set. Bust. Okay, there, fine. For now. That should keep the gods happy. Three shrines each. Yes, there we go. Now we expand our population. Um, I wanted to throw down a water supply. Like here. And roadblock like, like that. And then we can expand our population by just throwing some houses down. Because I want to support that new... Um set of gold mines that house has moved in so let's throw down the firehouse the architect's post we're gonna need unfortunately also a police station we've got 500 people okay we're gonna need an apothecary Be here and a physician Okay, just to look after that one house. It's a little bit silly, but sure. Alright, water carrier is going out. I think all of this is covered. We went into debt again? Miscalculated. Hopefully the kingdom rating doesn't drop by touching debt. Hasn't so far. I should play this as a monotheistic city? <laughs> no way! I, I have to calculate what gods, what the god curses all do in this game if I want to do a monotheistic city. Okay, we've got 12% unemployment. That is 300 people. It's going to be a lot more as well. One of these mines takes up 12 people. How do we have so many people? Okay, but now I just need money, and the money will be reinvested into more gold mines. So they cost 375, so I just have to place them as the money comes in. So there's one. And with each gold mine, we get more gold. Great. Oh no, this is unemployed. I, I miscalculated. No, this is employed workforce. That's unemployed workforce. Okay, saw the wrong number. Okay.
yeah, uh, Heretic City in Pharaoh might be impossible. It might be impossible because the curses are more direct. Okay, money's coming in. Another gold mine. Once we max gold mines, then we're good to go. We can start building what really matters, which is the rest of the city. <laughs> There we go, first unit of gold from these mines. Very good. Anytime we hit 800, I put down another gold mine. Just, for, there's a little buffer. 761, 861, there we go, another gold mine. Might want to try stabilize employment here by putting another house there. Five two six six two six seven two six eight two six. Three more gold mines. Three more. Six hundred. I see two coming in. All right, now we're getting the money. Yeah, you see, employment isn't stable here because sometimes the seeker walker, the one looking for employment, walks this way, and then he doesn't find houses. We're at 600, 700, 800, and then one more, one more. And then we have essentially infinite money. There we go. All the gold mines flashed out. And it seems like these gold mines are too far. They are too far. Um, ideally, we should be moving... Uh, the palace back to here. Uh, if I were to move the palace, it would... I can't remember exactly where it would go. I'd have to destroy the palace, rebuild it, it'd be very expensive. Let's move the physician first, in preparation. Because if this one's getting stuck at 100, these are all getting a little bit stuck. If I can move the palace a little bit closer, it'll be much better. So I have the money to do it. But I'm going to wait till we have a bit more of a buffer. Dantkun, what do you mean the remake is on the way? Yeah, there's, there's an official remake on the way. If you were unaware. <laughs> okay. We still have 5% unemployment, so that should be a pretty good buffer there. Let's get rid of the palace. Let's place it back where I wanted it to be. So it's slightly more between these two areas. It's going to have to wait for employment. Okay. And now with money coming in, we can just start importing everything we want. We can start importing every everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Activision owns the license to Pharaoh now, uh, and they are not publishing it. Activision is barely involved as far as I know. Um, the publisher is .emu, um, and the developers are the ones who made Lepis, Triscoll Interactive. But they have a publisher now, and they're working in Unity, I think, so there shouldn't be any engine problems. Okay, so now the only thing that really threatens us is military, isn't it? Right? So perhaps there's a little bit of mining area over here. I could set this up. I have a little bit of a road here. And have this road go through like this. I guess I might as well hook up this thing here. We're going to set up a little bit of a housing area for a house there and for a house here. Throw down a firehouse, throw down an architect's post. Uh, let's keep that road shorter, throw down a police, police station, throw down an apothecary, throw down a physician. So I can start manufacturing weapons. Can I import weapons? Someone sell weapons? 
This map plays so differently because of the free trade. Wait, I've forgotten. Do chariots need weapons? Or do they just need chariots? Because I could just go straight... We can make chariots, right? Chariots don't need weapons, right? They just need... Wood. I can make a little bit of a crossing here. We can get the wood from there. The chariot is the weapon. <laughs> okay. If that's the case, what I actually want to set up is an area here. To cut the wood through the marshland, otherwise they have to go the long way around. Oh wait, they can't because... yeah. It's fine. Should be able to just... Make sure it is connected. Yeah, do that. And I'm just gonna have a road extend out into... I wanna do this. Again, just connect the road. Sure. And I will throw a house here. I'll roadblock this. We'll set up all the usual. Firehouse. Architect's post. Police station. Apothecary. Uh, physician. Let's make sure the gods are happy. Let's do another row right here in front of our palace. Osiris. Oh, they aren't happy, are they? Osiris. Ra. Ta. That. Bust. And Osiris is our patron god, so second one to Osiris. There we go. Yeah, Osiris Patron God, you get one more shrine. And then from here, how much unemployment do we have? 2%? Okay, we actually need more people. So let's boost up our population over here. Yeah, this is all still fine. Just do another row of houses there, another row of houses there. Great. And with that employment, we can set up woodcutters. I want to do this. I'm gonna have a storage yard of chariots. I'm going to need a chariot maker, which costs 375. Okay. Do I want to be super efficient with my placing? Nah, it's fine. And you just need wood. So we need raw materials, wood cutters. Go get the wood. This is eight? Oh, that's not a lot of people. Just go get all the wood. All right, we're gonna manufacture chariots. Uh, and then we need just the recruiter right here. We'll get the chariots and we'll need a academy. That's a thousand five. It can go right here. That's actually... Oh, wait, no. It doesn't have access to employment if I put it there. I guess I could have it up here. 1,000 people now call your city home? Great. Here? I mean, here looks kind of good, but there's no houses. Employees needed, yeah, I know. Uh, I can have a house there, yeah, that's actually fine. The apothecary and physician still touch that. Yeah, all the other things. Yeah, that's fine. I put a house there, then I can put the military academy there. How many people are we short by? 72. Is everyone moving in? That should work out. And I'll just put the 
academy right here. And it gets firehouse protection from that side so it won't burn down. It'll just get employment when this house moves in. Okay, great. Woodcutters on the way. The manufactured chariots. And then we can just put a bunch of chariot forts. Uh, if we get invaded, I'm not sure where they're going to come from. So I guess we split the chariot forts. There's not a lot of room over on this side, though. If they invade from that side, it would be bad. Oh, there's more ore-bearing rock over here. Oh, interesting. This area, that road's set up, but it's not doing anything. Okay, wood's coming back. Yes! Usually chariots had archers on them too. Yeah, this game, this game they don't have archers. They just wiggle. <laughs> when it's chariot versus chariot, they just go up to each other and they're like, And then one of them falls over. <laughs> Alright, chariot production is on the way. We're only short 34 workers. Money is still streaming in. I don't know if any of these are getting stuck on 100. I think they are. Gold mines mine up fast, but the, pa the palace can't be any closer. All right, I think we're making enough money. Yeah, we're actually going fine on the money. Okay, so I mainly just need to secure... We need a lot of room for housing. But also with this money, I guess I should just start opening up trade routes. I, I don't even know what we need to open. So I'm just going to randomly open trade routes. And then we should just be able to import what we want. No working dock. Yeah, that's fine. We actually have so much money. All these trade routes are just 500 to open. And all the trade routes and the stuff they sell is for pocket change. Okay, okay, good. We're getting lots of that. So the the key what I see here for a population of thirty thousand, you need so much stuff. Um, so I think as much as possible, we should not manufacture our own goods. We should not do it. We should import food. We should import all the resources we need. We need to import everything. Right? Because mainly space is an issue. Open that trade route. Yeah. Punt, what do you got? Luxury goods later. No. That's all luxury goods down there. That's rocks. That's wood. That's maybe stuff we can use. Heliopolis. Where do docks go? We can fit one dock here. Otherwise it's on this side, isn't it? We can only fit one dock on the left side and maybe two docks on the right side. We could fit docks here if we chop the trees. Bad luck is stalking the city and some of your citizens have taken ill caused by something in the water. Okay, well, everyone's got positions and path carries. I guess we're using this. A lot of the trade routes are water, anyway. Uh, uh land, rather. So that's where that dock's going. Chariots being manufactured. Short by 19 employees. I probably have too many woodcutters, but that's fine. I'm just opening up all the relevant trade routes. I think that's that's everything. Okay, so everything sold is 2,500. Everything is set to the same amount. 2,500 of everything. I see. That's jewelry, luxury goods. Yeah. Okay. So... We just import everything we need, right? So, we're basically designing blocks to be as efficient as possible, right? I want to figure out where you want to put the pyramids. Right, we have monuments as well. The Sun Temple. We have 
the Grand Pyramid Complex, which is the one that touches the water. It's big. And a medium pyramid. Okay. Um, the tricky one is the Grand Pyramid Complex. It's big. I think there's only one spot where it can really be, which is going to be down this way, right? It's got it's got to go right here, right? It has to. But I don't think it's going to fit on this side of the river. Technically doesn't rotate, but it... Pro tip. If you rotate the map, monuments sometimes rotate with it. Not this one, though. Okay. I think. I don't know. Okay, so this is 100% going here. So I might as well just place it now. The other two can be squeezed around. Right? Sun Temple, we can squeeze almost anywhere. Some temple can be squeezed like here. The medium pyramid can go basically anywhere. Uh, so I think I'm just going to stick one work camp down. And he can just start digging away. <laughs> right? They need to dig first, right? Yeah. So he's just going to start digging away at that pyramid. Chariots are coming in. Um... Is this functioning? Yes. Fort Charioteers. I guess we'll squeeze them where it doesn't really matter. Like here. Right? Just start getting some Charioteers. Fort Charioteers. I have two right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, right, to get trade, to get land trade over to that side, we have to have the these things actually functioning. So we're gonna need to draw a road down this way. We need to chop a tree, I think. Chop a couple of trees. That one and that one. Do that and that. Do that, and then we need to just squeeze some houses here. Fire house. Architect's post. Police station. Apothecary. Physician. Okay, so that will get these two. Um, ferry landings functioning. This one already is. Good. This one needs to as well. Let's just draw a road along here. Get some houses. And the same. Our house. Architect's post. Police station. Apothecary. Position. And that will get that functioning. Okay. That's where the dock's going. But land trade routes now function. Can we chop down like a whole bunch of wood? Actually, not that much. It only holds so much. And then the floods come in. Okay. <laughs> Two guys are gonna build this pyramid. Look at them go. They're gonna do their best. Okay. They're gonna do their best. Health is improving, but plague could still strike. It's 100% coverage, isn't it? Of health stuff, right? Apothecary. Physician. Yep. Okay, now we can build a housing area. Chariots are coming in, that's great, and I assume they are... Skilled, yes, okay. Now, how do I build efficient blocks that can house a ton of people? I'm gonna start here. I feel like I can fit like four blocks here. 
But to keep in mind, they need to touch a little bit of this grass so that we can actually have access to water. Fire. All right. Just realized. Those two guys who are working on the monument, yeah, they just died. Try put that out when you can. Did a worker just spawn? He did. He just spawned out of the burning wreckage. With the fields underwater, I work now for glory everlasting. He lost the house. Okay. Put that out when you can, please. He's gonna go work on glory everlasting. Alright, that house should move in. Let's plan our housing block. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of room from here. And then I think I'm just gonna do rectangles, right? I'm gonna do one, two, one, two, one, two. Rectangles of six, right? One, two, six. For that. Let's rebuild the house. Okay. Can we actually import everything we need? I assume so. If I connect this, I can actually get a functioning dock. Now, my only concern is pavilions. <laughs> oh, pavilions. Um... If I position pavilions on the inside, it can mitigate the problem. Right? So I can do that, have most of the services over on that side. The only thing that needs to be on this side is the bazaar. So let's set that up. That's a roadblock there. Then we have this road extend out like that. This road... Zigzag a little bit along here to get up to there. Just make sure we roadblock here. So that dock is now functioning. These ships... I don't know why we came. This city never trades. And the short leave is boring. Okay. And the middle of this block... Disease strikes? Why? The physician doesn't reach. Okay, you know, we're, we're just building houses. It's fine. Beautification. I know statues are more efficient, but I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be a pavilion. Okay. And then let's get our first housing block going. Right, we're gonna start with this. And wait for them to move in. This is going to be our first housing block. A rough template. A rough template. Um, ooh, we should also actually have a house here to provide employment to this side of the road. Which is going to be important. Because we're going to need... Is this going to be too long? Probably. Firehouse. Architect's post. Road block. Okay, so then we can use this. That, those might burn down, actually. Let's get rid of them first. Okay. First housing. You know, I like relying on gold. It's nice, steady income. Nothing affects it. But, um... They're all resentful. Osiris is particularly resentful. Really? That house? Alright, you don't get to be a house anymore. Let's throw down some Osiris shrines. Just scatter them around the landscape. Yeah, three shrines should do. Where are the where are the immigrants? Here they come, here they come. Oh, they're crossing here. Right, it's not flood season. They can take the shortcut. That house? Disease? Really? Okay, you don't get to be a house anymore either. Let's set up the basics. We're gonna need firehouse, 
Again on this side, because that's where the pavilion is, so that's where the um, intersection is. We're gonna need apothecary and physician with a temple to Osiris. I'm gonna be efficient with... Really? Physician is there. Both carry is there. They're just they're just sick. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this area has everything they need, right? I need that house to move in, which will be this road will be protected by this firehouse and this architect's post. That house will move in last because I placed all of these first. We do need a water supply, which I can stick here. Now let's evolve this area. Um, Shot 97 employees. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna need the no the bazaar right here. So we actually don't need any granaries unless I'm actually manufacturing my own stuff, right? So we can just have storage yards. Now, what resources do we need? We can just accept pottery, beer, um, linen, papyrus. Let's do that. Accept none. Uh, Pottery, beer, linen, papyrus. So now I just set it to import. Oh, not Faustus, thank you so much. And Filikov as well, thank you. Okay, uh, let's see, where, where, where's all the resources? Pottery, importing to maintain. You know, I'm gonna control this with the max? 4,000 should be good. I don't know. I'm gonna control this with... What's the max we can set? There is no max? Alright, I'm just gonna set it to 10,000 then. I'll control it with storage space, but it's all free anyway. Beer. Let's import this. 10,000. This plays so differently from the campaign missions. 10,000. Um, linen. Let's import that. I want to evolve the houses straight away. Because then I'll get a better sense of how much we can support. And then Papyrus. We can import all of this. Good. Good? Good. Okay. Um, as the houses evolve, we should be able to get everything else they need. They should employ themselves, right? Is this a one-off mission? Yeah, it's a custom map. 15k is the max import you can set. Oh, okay. That makes it easy. I should just make it all 15k, right? There's no reason why it should be lower. Okay, easy. Just set it all to 15k. Yeah, it's NAFTA. North African Free Trade. Uh, the key thing is, which I didn't realize, when they say free trade, they mean it. Everything besides chariots, uh, cost one to buy and you get one for selling. So it's all about these gold mines and taxes. And then you can just import everything you need without manufacturing them. Like, I don't have food, that's what I want. Um, what food can I import? Oh, I'm getting something. Um, game meat. F no, no. Meat, fish. Oh, we can only import meat and fish. I see. So import the meat. And import the fish. So if I want three types of food, I'm going to have to manufacture it. So I do need granaries. Uh, so I can do grain, barley, flax. I probably need grain for that. 
But I could also just, you know... How many types of food do we need? I can just set a granary here to hold game meat. And just produce a little bit. I know we need more workers. Z strikes there? Okay. Yeah, those people, they're just starving, so, you know, they get sick once in a while. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, pottery's coming in. That dock's working. Uh, who's this? I am off for a hard day's logging. Oh, right, they go the long way around. Only one dock on this side is gonna be a pain. But surely some of our imports are land trade routes, right? There we go. It's the trader's life for me. I love the art of the deal. I can't wait to trade my supplies. Okay. Okay, now we're going. Malaria. Don't I have an apothecary here? I do. But I guess... Even... With a doctor, you'd still get sick, wouldn't you? <laughs> Living here, in the middle of the jungle, on the Nile, right across from the papyrus, the swamplands, where the crocodile lives. Malaria. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have so much disease unless I can solve this problem. A gold mine has collapsed. We can't have that. We need our infinite money. Should go ahead and put down uh, more charioteers. This all back here makes sense, right? I'm not going to be building the monuments over here. Disease. This is a game where... The forts can't be destroyed. Ooh, sand dunes. Are we making any progress? They've, they've like been... <laughs> just touching the ground a little bit. <laughs> I have one work camp on that, just to get that started. Okay, why do we have gems? We're not even accepting gems. Alright, I never made room for the food, I just realized. It was meat and fish, right? Is that a bug? That's a bug, okay. We got gems. That's a problem, because... Uh, let's just... Try and get the gems out of there, but... Uh, it's only three, yeah. Oh well, let's, uh, let's plaza this up. Beautification plaza. Plaza... No, right. We can't do that. Uh, this is a game where it needs to have decorations first. These strikes. Uh, what we're gonna need to do... You know, with infinite money... I'm just gonna do this so I can plaza up these roads. Is that not enough? There we go. Now I can get rid of these statues. Disease strikes. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're hunting some game meat here. Uh, that gets a little bit of food in. Uh, they need more entertainment. So let's throw down the pavilion. Right there. And we can start providing entertainment. Uh, yeah, housing access over here is going to be a bit of a problem. Unless I reform this road, can I do that? 
If this road bends this way, and then does this, and then I roadblock here and here, and shift the firehouse to here, and the architect's post to here, that becomes a loop which will stabilize employment. All right, some meats coming in as well. We're just gonna sell not luxury goods and not grain. Three types of food, is that correct? Okay, but now there's room for a juggler's house, a conservatory, and a dance school. We shot 129 employees, but it's fine. More and more people are gonna be moving in here. This at least uses destination walker, so the entertainers walk past the house to get to the pavilion. So if there is a walker spawning glitch, we'll be able to mitigate the problem. Blood likely to fail? Yeah, okay. Uh, why is the firehouse not working? Why is there- oh, there's a crocodile here. It's gonna double up on the firehouses there. These houses slowly evolving. Need more entertainment. Is it a global entertainment problem? Oh no, there we go. They're evolving. So we have beer in, right? What else do they need? A courthouse. Uh, maybe I should wait for them to move in, right? I'm still short 92 employees. Here comes all the immigrants, though. That's good. All right, resources looking nice and stable. These guys not reach that side? I guess they don't. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Those gems are just gonna be in the way, I think. Right, disease strikes, these guys. Needs more desirability. So we're gonna need to throw down some shrines, I think. Let's do some shriney areas. Let's do. Yeah, it'll be sort of intermittent. There'll be a shrine there. No, just make it easier. I'm gonna do this with Cyrus. Ra. The ta. Set. Bust. Okay. Then they need a courthouse, which we can provide. Yeah, people are dying. Can I build on this? Can't build over animal grounds. Right, that's exactly where they spawn. Guess it's just gonna have to go here. Uh, it looks good. So the courthouse will come down. Uh... What else do they need? A school? Gonna need a school. Are we getting papyrus in? Oh, those gems keep coming in. Oh, this storage yard's not functioning. Oh, this is a problem. That house is not providing enough employment. A plague strikes your city. Yeah. As long as it's not here, I, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right, let's just squeeze some houses here. We're gonna have to solve this problem. Um, which also means we need all the usuals on this side as well. Position apothecary. That should solve that. Yep, no one's working there. We can put that storage yard down. This is gonna be getting gems. Just to get it out. Get maximum gems. 
And then I'm gonna set it so we sell gems. Can we actually sell gems? Export went over zero. That should that should get the gems out of our storage yards. We're not importing gems, by the way. It's just... I, I don't even know if it's charging us for it, but it's definitely bugged because Papyrus is supposed to be in here, but it can't fit. These guys need basic educational stuff. So there should be a scribal school right here. And we do another set of shrines. Leaving room for some houses. Disease. Lots of disease. Fast, I can stick back here. Yeah, that looks good. Kind of. <laughs> uh, so there'll be houses between the shrines like this. Okay. Our food levels are low. Well, we have plenty of game meat. Yeah, it's just we can't import the other stuff because these houses haven't moved in. Fine. No physician or mortuary. Is a physician not walking all the way around? Apothecary is fine. Oh, it's short on workers. I see. It's still short by a lot of workers. Let's just throw down a second physician for now. Oh, all right, these houses have moved in. That should stabilize employment on this little block. Um, we need a mortuary, don't we? I guess no house here. Mortuary goes there. Also, um, dentist. That one side keeps dying, yeah. <laughs> Which temple complex we have access to? Good question. All of them. So if I build all of them, the gods will never be unhappy. Oh, you can only have one. Oh, okay. I forgot. I forgot. I don't usually have this many options. Get bust? Is that the best one? I'll have to have a look at the benefits. What does, what does Bast, how do I, free stuff, is there one that stops disease, just so I can avoid those notifications, <laughs> alright, these houses are evolving up to common residences, some entertain but not enough, surely they have everything, right, jugglers, Musicians? Wait, no musicians? Did I not build a... Did I build a conservatory? I thought I did. Okay. Fine. Alright, this is all stable now. The gems were moved out and sold. Good. That should solve that problem. The musicians will come in soon. No employment problems. Pastas and throws festivals for other gods and gives free stuff for houses and bazaars. I can stop the gems import bug by not having a storage yard access to multiple importable items. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. 2,000 residences. The gods should be super happy with all these shrines I built. Uh, I don't know if one bazaar can keep up with this. A plague. Okay, we're starting to get some unemployment. I'm gonna destroy those slums any second now. Spacious residences.
good entertainment, but desirability. Did I bother trying to evolve them beyond this? To have more entertainment, it's just the Senate House, right? Would it really help with population? Let's keep people happy by paying. How much more can I pay over in Pharaoh to keep people happy? How do we lose a hundred employees? Why do some of these houses not have a water source? Prioritize health and sanitation. The chariot makers causing issues. Elegant residences. Single god. Right. If I get rid of this physician, I can have a temple to another god. The debate is between Bast or Osiris. Statues give more desirability? Yeah. But they're more fiddly to put down. Okay, second temple is down. Just want to see how much I can evolve these houses. Fancy residences. Right, that's, that's basically all we need, right? I'm not going to worry if one or two houses don't evolve. We're looking at a 30,000 population city. There's some, some little things. It's just, I'm not going to care. Plague. A Libyan army is going to reach in one year. Okay. We have a bunch of chariots. Now, I might have to save scum a little bit because military and pharaoh is horribly unbalanced. Like, if they invade from this right side, I guess I'll just let it fall, right? Like... The plague keeps happening on this side. <laughs> I just need enough people to move in. Look, there's like so much room. Oh, wait, these, these guys are stopping immigrants from reaching that side. I should progressively destroy these houses. Wait. Most of these houses are actually empty. Stop moving in there and go move in into our fancy residences. The altar... Uh, yeah, which altar actively removes plague? I, I don't know how to bring up just the, the tooltips for the temple complexes. Yeah, one of the, the oracles. Is it bust? You know, I have so much money. Who cares? Just build it. There's the question mark. <laughs> uh, um, goddess of healing. There's a healing hands on the city's populace. Removing plagued walkers from the streets and cleansing any infected houses. The priestesses may pass. Altar of Isis. I see. Oracle of Hathor, Goddess of Joy, Love, Festivity. Uh -huh. Brings good fortune to any city, keeps citizens happy and satisfied with less. So they use less resources, they won't get so unhappy with the massive unemployment we're gonna have. Uh, and it deals with the plague. I think we're going with Bast. Uh, we just need Temple Complex, Altar of Isis. Temple Complex, Oracle of Hathor. There we go. And then we just need to make sure we have Bast providing access 
around to houses here and there. If that roadblock one tile over, okay, good. Uh, to give some general access to wherever, okay. If I actually shift... Yeah, that, that should mitigate a little bit. Okay. How's our employment? Short by 214 Gs. We just need people to move over to this side. If I just get rid of all of this, can, can you guys stop moving in here, please? Like we've got plenty of housing here. All of this is only like half filled. Now looking at our resources, it seems like... We've imported flax. Is that gonna just keep happening with every resource? That's so annoying. Okay, that means we have to have separate storage yards. Okay. Step none. Step none. This one is gonna be... Pottery. This one is gonna be... Um... Beer. This one is gonna be... Linen, this one is gonna be papyrus. Uh, you please get maximum flax. Can we sell flax? No, it's available for import only. Okay. You can even get resources that the map does not have through this glitch. Wow! That's some power gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Disease is getting a bit much. Can I just kill people who are sick? It's a tactic. Okay. Um, our military is looking alright. We've got three full forts of chariots. They'll be here in six months. I'm going to make a save game right here. This is NAFTA 1. Okay. I might have to save scum a little bit. I don't know how strong the enemy military is going to be. I need this working because of that trade port. Okay, how's our employment? Still short 221 employees. Where are the immigrants? It's just, uh, when you just straight up evolve houses, The immigrants come in very slowly. I should probably just build another housing area. Uh, let's leave a gap of two, gap of two. We'll set up another area right here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is needs to be here. So I can have a house here, and that should stabilize the employment on this block, and then I can remove those houses. Two, three, four, five, six. This is a slightly smaller block. I can bend the road a little bit. If I do this. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. 
That should be fine, right? Is that too long? Maybe that'll be too long. We'll leave it like that. Okay. The symbol, thank you for the gift set. To Sinsa. Sinsa Ninja. <laughs> uh, just did Kadesh normal mode. Oof. Kadesh. On normal, it's probably the only way that you can really get it done, right? And then a couple large statues. So I can just plaza this up. Another plague. Oh, right there. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to solve that problem soon enough. Plaza that. Pavilion will be going here. That's correct, right? Yeah. The pavilion right there. Ready to set up a second housing block. I'm just a little concerned with this invasion. They're gonna be here in a month. Let's just see what happens. If I can kill them. Maybe, maybe not. Military in this game is just insane and weird. Plenty of potteries coming in. Are these houses actually filling up? How is the city still short of so many employees? Oh, invasions here. They are invading from here. Okay. Oh, from here. Let's slow the game down. Slow the game down. Everyone just get over here. Go, go hit them. Let's see if we can kill them. The battle takes place off the map. We're just gonna crowd the invasion point. Maybe we'll win. You never know. Could lose. But they're gonna come in one at a time. Are they dead? All right, invasions on this map, not so bad. Not so bad. This is no Kadesh. This is no Kadesh. <laughs> Luckily. Uh, okay, we needed to go ahead and start putting some things here. Uh, firehouse. Architect's post. Police station. Uh, apothecary. Position. Temple to bust. Alright. Where are the immigrants? We, we need people. 181 workers need. Alright, some people have been moving in. That's good. Because we're a little short on money because all these gold mines are short on workers. Like, they've only got a third of the workers. So our income's only a third. Plenty of linen just came in. Look at that. Uh, we can stick a bazaar right here. And the only thing I don't want you buying are uh, luxury goods. Oh, and grain. Okay. I think a lot of these storage yards haven't actually been functioning. Because they didn't have the employees. Alright, 157 workers. You know, I don't really see any progress on this on this uh, this thing here. 
But I assume the massive unemployment is supposed to be used for um, the, the monuments. Which reminds me, we can import stones and stuff, right? What, the, what is this going to be using? Plain stone, limestone. I need sandstone to begin the uh, one of the projects. I can manufacture plain stone, limestone, granite. Yeah, we can manufacture everything. There's these rocks here. We can actually manufacture what we need right there. It'll be faster than importing, because importing you can only get like 25. 182 employees. How? Are people moving out or something? Oh, no workers live nearby here. Really? Our temple complex keeps gaining and losing access to houses. The searching walker. Oh, he doesn't quite reach that house. Okay. Water supply. Yeah. People idolize me as a god? That's good to know. 105 workers needed. With that temple working? Yeah, 111 workers needed. So water's gonna go out here, um, and then we can get everything else going, yeah? Okay, some people are ill, flood likely to fail, no worries. We can put the pavilion right here, get some entertainment going. These houses are going to evolve. All right, we're only short 52 workers now. Let's go ahead and put down Scribal School. Let's put down Mortuary. And then let's put down a temple to Osiris. Then we can have a courthouse. Kind of fit right there. And then we can put down a dentist right there. And we can start doing some shrine work. Maybe not as dense as before. One, two, three, four. We're a little low on money. Time. Careful with this. Set. What happened here? Beer? Aren't we importing beer? Is beer only from a water trade route or something? How do you tell? Oh, you can't even tell if the, the trade routes are... We're waiting for some cargo to be delivered to our ship. Can't even tell if the trade routes are land or water. <laughs> I can import barley from land. I see. Um, right. So we can get some barley. Can I farm Bali? I can, but... Nah, let's import barley. Maximum. All you can. Okay. And then as... How we shop... Oh, right, all our houses just evolved. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm gonna need breweries. Okay. 
move some gardens around. Okay, houses evolving. All of those houses devolved. Some, some beer has come in. Can you please provide beer again? Thank you. Everyone who kick got kicked out of their homes, turn around, please. I've been kicked out of my home and through no fault of my own. All right. You know, considering all the resources are free, this is this is very difficult. Because we're we're low on population, it means the gold mines are not working. Those are shrines to set. Shrine set. Finish that. Shrine to bust. That cuts us very close. A okay, little bit of gold's coming in. All right, 136 workers short. We put down this new housing area, but it doesn't seem to have solved much of our problems. <laughs> uh. Okay, come on, come on, move in, move in. We can go ahead and put down more houses here. Gold mine just collapsed. Okay. Up this gold mine. Raw material. Actually, can't afford it. Why is the transport road going through the fields? Um, this is the shortcut. When this is flooded, they can actually make it through this transport route. But if this is open, it's a shorter path. Hundred and three workers. All right. Low on money. Is this all the services this place needs? Right, two temples, courthouse, all the basics, water carrier, mortuary, scribal school. Yeah. Fill the rest with houses. This is new. This this is so new. There is no artwork for this. O oh, vizier, Gamazak, the city is frightened because the sand has shifted beneath our feet. Our land will never be the same. Do what you can to repair the damage the earthquake did to your city and to your people. This is the only mission that has earthquakes. It's a leftover from Caesar 3. Wait, this is Caesar 3 style earthquake? I thought it was going to take out the monument. Okay. Well, we lost some service buildings here. Which makes this a little tricky. Um, burning room. Physician. Okay, we're going to need to make some room here. So we need room for a physician. That was a temple. Why did the pavilion burn? Oh, that road is broken. Right, okay, so we're gonna need to do that to connect that. How's that? that? Okay. Um, let's make sure the fire doesn't spread this way. Or this way. Alright, alright. Um, so, if it was a physician, dentist, that's what, what else was destroyed. Okay, we can throw a dentist right there. Physician can go down here. So then it's a temple and courthouse, right? So I guess I get rid of this house. 
in favor of the courthouse right here. And then this pavilion needs to return. I actually don't know how the pavilion caught fire. And then over this side, we can have the Bas Temple replaced. Okay. And that actually leaves some room for housing. Okay, we, we just now have this ravine. And because every fire marshal in the entire city went to solve that problem, they just abandoned their posts. Just destroy that house. And make sure the fire doesn't spread here. The fire marshals are returning to their posts, so this should solve not have a fire issue there. Okay. Place the house, place the house, replace the house. Now, see that fire marshal just abandoning his post to put out those little fires. <laughs> oh. That's gonna burn. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, fire marshal's coming down this way. Should be able to reach it in time. Okay. So that was a house. Um, we had some shrines here. What are these? Pata set. Shrine. Pata. Okay, money has come back. Set. And house. Okay. Uh, we're probably going to need some beautifications over here. Of the houses living in the cracks. Okay. It's not too bad. It, it's just... Okay, big question. Can troops... No. It's a natural wall. So if invaders keep coming from here, they actually can't walk down this way. Can you bridge over it? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. Besides that... No employment problems! Oh, that was finally solved. Okay, great. Okay, with this house here, we should be able to get rid of these shanty houses here. Right? Because everything should be working by itself. Um, why do we have no barley? We've been trying to import that for a while now, right? We've imported zero barley. But isn't barley a land trade route? Wasn't it? Yeah, land trade route. Well, the traders just filled up on selling fish instead, that's why. Right, the traders can only sell 800. So if they're just selling fish, then... Well, that's a problem. have a stable supply of game meat. It's actually a lot. It's the imported foods that are a bit of a problem. I mean, our beer supply looks good now. It's just we don't have any barley. Well, if barley ever comes in, then... Alright, that crocodile might be causing some problems as well.
if traders happen to walk that way. How can I deal with that? If I put a tower here, does it kill the crocodile? Some of these houses, they're upgrading it even now, okay. Money's come back to where it is, okay, good. Gardens. That, can I just have three by three gardens here? Yeah, that looks great, just fill it up, yeah. Wonderful. Looks nice. All right, that, that's a pretty good setup there. Now, population of 30,000. Is that even possible? <laughs> I'm looking at this and it's like, I know this is a little bit unstable, but... And all of these houses just sort of trying to figure out what they want to be, but... Our population is probably gonna be like three plus thousand from this and we can't fit ten of these not with this monument in the way <laughs> oh we're gonna have to figure out how to do this huh this is gonna be an endeavor it's gonna be an endeavor Oof. All right, so I don't know if other earthquakes are going to happen as well. Like, the main problem with this map is just space. Like, we could fit some housing over here. I have a concern of using game meat over there. I think on this side I'd have to manufacture my own goods, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Alright, we've reached 3,000. We're a tenth of the way to our target population. Hannibal <laughs> uh. says, my best record is 45k population on a better map. This layout is weird. Yeah, so this earthquake happened. This is all sand dunes over here. This massive river is taking up so much space. The floodplains are all in the way. And we have to build this giant monument, which basically can only fit here. I guess it could like be squeezing houses around and stuff like that. The two smaller monuments, we can fit pretty much anywhere, so we could make it work based on the space we have available. I think I should start limiting how much is imported into these areas. Not because we can't afford it, because it's free, but because it needs to be distributed to other places. Because if I set up bazaars down here, it's going to be a bit of a walk to reach up to there. I think these two blocks are done at least. Um, what is this storage out for? Papyrus. How can I make this work? Yeah, the limit on trade is just how much the caravans can carry. Well, we have massive unemployment, but they still idolize me as a god. So we're just going to have lots and lots of unemployment, I think, on this map. Um, but I suppose we can use it up for... ...getting this pyramid going. 
Our military is actually almost fleshed out. So we've almost got max chariots. So how do I... Can I can I make this somehow function a little bit better? Mm. Like if I throw a road down this way. I can probably kind of make something work here. That's not too far. We just need to have a pavilion on the end of this road. That. That might burn down, so let's not do that just yet. And then we can have like a row of houses here. Okay, we can squeeze in a bit more housing on this side, I think. This... Uh, I need to do this first, just to get the plazas down. Okay, good. Go to the gardens. How much room do we have? A decent amount of room. Okay. <laughs> the tower would keep that croc under control. Alright, um, maybe I can figure out how to get that running. Uh, can I move this physician somewhere else? Yeah, we... these... Breweries just aren't working anyway. So, physician goes to there. Get rid of the physician. Defensive structures. Let's get a tower here. And we just need a road connection to... This way. Make sure we roadblock this road. Oh, I can't... I can't build a roadblock. I can build a road, I can't build a roadblock. Yeah, that's not good. The croc is killing the fire, dudes. I okay. um, think if I maybe run the road around this way. Okay. Like that. Connect the road up this way. Roadblock here. Okay, is that fire dude gonna get to that building in time? Maybe. Uh, but that should get a soldier going. Alright, he made it. So now the tower is operational. It is throwing spears. We can now uh, get some basics going here. Firehouse, architect's post. Police station. Apothecary. Uh, one, two, three. Position. And we have Bazaar. Roadblock this. Scribal school, mortuary, dentist, a temple to bust. Right, we're gonna need to make some room here, see what we need to fit. The pavilion goes there. Temple to bust. If I extend the tiny road out that side, I can then fit a courthouse right here. Which 
may burn down. To be safe, I'm gonna put a backup firehouse. Make sure this bazaar is not buying luxury goods. Or linen, right? These houses don't need linen. No, no, they do take linen. Yeah, they do take linen. Uh, I forgot water. Water supply. And there might be some desirability issues. Uh, Osiris. Ra. Is that everything they need? A second temple, I just remembered. Uh, which should be okay if I put it here. Temple Osiris. Yeah, that functions. Alright, we squeezed in a little bit of a block. Uh, on this one, I'm gonna say don't buy the other types of food. Just so it doesn't strain that system anymore. But then again, game meat is struggling. <laughs> uh, that is a problem. I have more than enough unemployment. Maybe I start farming. Maybe I do that. Because we can get grain going, right? If I fit this here, if I shift the roadblocks to here. Actually, I can just roadblock up like that. Then I can fit granary right here. I can set this to just accepting grain. I can then spam some work camps. Which... How do we get access to workers? There's a house right there. If I do this, they should get access to workers. Okay, let's do that. We're good. Okay, that works. Ah. Ah. Bad luck, taken ill. Yeah, that's fine. All right, all these houses evolved. Great. Let's get grain going. Uh, you know, I'm never really all that organized with this. Let's try be a little organized. So if I put grain like a row like this, and then a row like this, I just do rows. Yeah, I know. Okay, fine. Fine. Flood. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> fine. Ugh. Um, guess I could try... Okay, we're never getting any barley. Let's just throw down... More hunting lodges. Because there's still... There's still antelope. I just don't know. Are they, like, going over here to hunt this antelope or something? Antelopes are no match for us. Yeah. Uh, that's something I hope in a new era they fix. The targeting mechanic of where they go and get antelopes. Right? There's all of these antelopes here. Alright, I forgot about that. Fire. Firehouse. Architect's post. Okay. Are you actually getting... Okay, yeah, some are. Right, that row is working out well. People still like me? Yeah, still idolize me as a god. 
Money's looking good at 6,000. We're not being careful or anything with our spending. Place that work can. Oh, look, we're actually making some progress on the monument now. <laughs> uh, the gods? No, I've been spamming shrines. I'm very confident the gods are fine. Are we just not getting enough food down here? Wait, no, that's for this row. Oh, our food supply is just low. Right. Yeah, keeping up with our food supply is a little tricky. I would shift the roadblock to here. Could fit two more hunting lodges. Let's pause the game. Let's get these roads down. So I'm gonna put a. I just wanna max out these farms. Let's slow the game down. I'm gonna do farm farm. We'll just spam up grain. Okay, so I know I need a road here, and I need a road here, and I need a road here, and a road here. And then irrigation ditches into the swampland. A trick that... Oh, that's not connected. This has to go around this way. Uh, that one's not irrigated, but whatever. Okay, good enough. Station ditch. Ah, that is irrigated. That can go around like this. Is everything irrigated? Should be. Okay, there we go. Get to farming. Nice clean lines. That should bring in plenty of grain. We should also be able to make some room here. Put a storage yard there to accept grain. And if I set it to importing grain, Bazaars can access grain from warehouses. So that also means I can turn off other types of food. So for example, I can turn off meat from here and I can turn off fish from here. And meat and fish are turned off there. That should lighten the load on the meat and fish imports and the grain will come in. All right, good. No worries if anything starts devolving here, because we've got plenty of unemployment. Chariots are stocking up in the event of an invasion, which doesn't seem to be happen happening much. Do we not have enough work camps to get this going? Uh, we can cut back on these woodcutters instead of have work camps. That is actually a lot of farms. Usually I don't... I don't, um... Just go straight in like that. But then again... No campaign mission plays like this mission. I mean, literally, there's an earthquake on this mission like Caesar 3. That's so crazy. Okay, when the grain comes in, everything should start looking a little bit better. Um, and fit houses here. Place that. Don't do that. Mm. 
one year, an invasion. Let's put a cat statue there. Cat statue there. Okay, two cats. Alright, there we go. Now the farms are running. That should bring in quite a lot of food. And it should also allow me to put a little bit of grain in here. We don't have to have that fully stocked of game meat. This one... It was accepting barley, but you know, I guess we'll never get barley. Let's put some grain there. And we set it to importing grain, so yeah, everything should be easy access. Plaza. Okay. Good, good. Everything's kind of looking okay. 24% unemployment. Food is actually a problem, just trying to maintain all of this. Hopefully this is enough food. Hopefully. Oh. Yeah, the chariots are now stocking up so we don't need all that wood. Yep. This is going to take so much plain stone and limestone. I guess we can start that. Um, if I just send a road round here, I'm going to need a house. And I can start manufacturing plain stone and limestone around here, right? be delivering resources down that way. I have to plan how this how the roads function. A house in the middle should give us access to everything we need. Yeah. This should work. Okay. Uh, so we can actually keep that monument going. This harvest should be pretty good. Harvest is in June. It's May now. Alright, harvest coming in. Is all the grain moving? Yes. So there should be enough room to store all the grain. They'll go to storage yards first, but that doesn't matter because they can be accessed from storage yards. I mean, I think, I think things have gone pretty okay. It's just the goals are just insane. Like, our population is going to be like 5,000 after this. <laughs> it's not even close to what it needs to be. Okay. The storage yard fills up. And then they fill up the granaries. And go fill the other granary. The Libyan army will be here in six months. We're gonna have to deal with that. Okay, the bazaars are taking the grain out of the warehouses. And all the grain is now... Actually, no, there's still some walking around. Okay, that's a lot of grain. That should keep us going. Where's the immigrants for that house? Should save right here. Should stabilize food supply. Uh, how do you even... Oh, 30,000? Like, all of this will need to be housing, but importing goods, even though it's free, it's just... It's not enough. It's not enough.
Yeah, you only need two type. You need two types of food, right? To evolve the houses to fancy. But there's a fancy residence. Common residence is already 80 people. Fancy residence is 92. Hmm. It's, it might be worth it to only give them one type of food and not go up to fancy. One dog certainly won't be enough. Yeah, that's that's a problem. That's a problem. It's it's map design. I mean, I could squeeze more docks here, but they'll be cut off a little bit. But I guess that's still better, right? If I clear some space here, I can fit a dock. And then I can carve a road through here. Other road through here. Okay. My way over to that and make sure it is road blocked here. So that opens up a second dock, but it's a long way to walk to anywhere. <laughs> uh, we can shorten it a little bit by removing that, having this road connect over like this. That shortens the path a little bit. But maybe that's enough. When it's flood times, they'll have to go an even longer way around, but... The map's just kind of designed like that. Gold mine collapsed. At least money is stocking up now. That was a good flood. We'll watch how um, how the grain supply lasts through the year. I mean, we can have a little bit more over on this side. These immigrants are never going to arrive here. Alright, in one month, these guys are going to be here. Let's see what we're dealing with. They're not too strong. So what's our kingdom rating? It's 17. <laughs> I probably should work on that. Um, Dynasty Mansion, please. Right there. Please pay me a nice salary. 80. It only needs to be like 20. Yeah, 20 a month is going to be more than enough. Oh, these work camps are connected up to here, so they do go far. It's fine. Seems like the grain supply lasts generally okay. Foreign army invades, where are they from? Here. Alright, all of you. Get over there. Please don't destroy these shrines. All of my troops, please just go cramp their style. Just all of you get up there. Alright. Wafiti, Libyan soldier. City's getting quite large. Now 5,000 people live here. <laughs> just swarm them with chariots. Guys over here. Make sure he doesn't go anywhere. And head back over that way. <laughs> Strategy gameplay. Everyone wiggle. Actually, no. When they when they get into melee range, they start wiggling. Um, otherwise, they do actually use range. Okay. Look, strategy gameplay. Right. That that was my strategic genius. Turn to four. Everyone go home. <laughs> Zerg rushes in ancient Egypt. Yeah. This house is... Why is that house not moving in? Are immigrants even still coming in? Yeah, they are. Alright, there is still some grain. Looks like our fish and meat imports did stabilize. 
as we just controlled how much food was being given out. Why is this bazaar like have no food? It's getting game meat and meat. Right? And grain. Oh, I see. Maybe you don't buy grain. And you're doing fish and game meat? Maybe you also don't buy grain. Because it seems like the grain on this side runs out very quickly. So you instead are using grain and game meat. Is that too much on the game meat? Maybe it's okay. Okay, so that controls how much grain we're using. Uh, perhaps you are... Game meat and grain? No, I wanted to not use game meat. Grain and meat. Alright, that should... Settle. Hopefully. I think. Maybe. Alright, alright, okay. No idea why this house is not, not moving in. I don't know. Oh! It's because this is actually blocked. This is not clear land. The gardens block the access. I forgot this monument. Is connected to the water. This is not clear land. See that? Ah, forgot about that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Figured it out. Ah, uh, this is not a pyramid. It's not. Well, it is kind of, but it's not. That's not the point. Uh, these docks are struggling. Like, I think I can fit more docks on this island, but... Maybe I should just spam docks. I can fit one here, right? If I get rid of these two houses, shift this design a little bit, put a dock here, we don't need that many trees. I just have to be conservative with cutting the trees. That, the road there. Replace a couple theater houses. Right. Harvest, is all the grain moving? Yes, good. Grain supply, there's actually still some grain from last year. That's great. Okay, I'm just gonna connect this road because I want to. That needs to be roadblocked, yeah. Okay. So eventually someone should move in there now. I think, maybe. Where will the fish go? Who's buying fish? This one. Game meat and fish. Why do you have no food? There is game meat. But there's no fish, but you are buying grain and meat. But also no food. I think I gotta double up the bazaars. It's just not stable, is it? I think I have to get rid of a house. Yeah, I'll get rid of a house in each section. Just set this to not buying that, and then I guess I'll have this one dedicated to food. So this is supposed to be fish and game meat. 
I turn those off and you are just buying fish and game meat. And then this one is buying grain and meat. So you are just dedicated to grain and meat. So it's the food bazaar. That should lighten the load. All this grain comes in. Fantastic. Lots of space, lots of food. Good, good, good. Uh. Okay, immigrants finally coming this way. So let's go ahead and put raw materials. This needs what? Plain stone, limestone. Mostly plain stone. Raw materials, plain stone quarry. So I will just try and fit as much as possible. draw a road around there okay fine this is doing okay, hook all this up and then if I connect that but then I roadblock here and a roadblock here and I have this road connect up like that Roadblock that. So that way this walks up to that house, these walk up to that house, these walk down to this house. And we just need to make sure nothing burns. Okay, okay good. And then have... Apothecary. Position. Okay, so all of those have access to that house, and that is all plain stone. Then we need some limestone. Limestone. We can squeeze around. There, so we roadblock here, so those access up to that house as well. Oh yeah, that works. Storage. <laughs> Didn't think of that. Um, I'm actually going to need to have another house. Text post, storage yards, two for plain stone, two for limestone. Get rid of this roadblock to try and make sure. Firehouse, Architect's Post, Apothecary, Physician, Roadblock. Okay, when that house moves in, this monument is good to go. It will just eventually finish at some point. I probably have way too many mines, but I have so much unemployment, it doesn't matter. Uh, I should probably just replace maybe two of these with limestone mines. Okay. Let's make this work now. If I roadblock... No, it'd be too unstable anyway. Yeah, they kind of cover each other. Okay. You typically need way more plain stone and limestone. Yeah, I know. I've got... What? I still have seven plain stone quarries. I mean, these will fill up way fast. Fit two more. 
Uh, this will be... I'm going to set this to limestone, set this to limestone, and set this to plain stone. Okay, three for plain stone, three for limestone, and yeah, that's good storage. Okay, monument is on the way. Population 5,000, food kind of stabilizing. The second bazaar doing good work. Why are you just constantly no food? It's... Uh, it's... Yeah, at least the rest are keeping up on their resources. Grain, meat. I think I just let them buy. Grain, meat. This is... Fish, game meat. Fish, game meat. If the resource is available, it should be in the bazaar. We're doing grain, game meat. What are we doing? Meat. Fish. This can be grain. I think we actually have enough grain. And we don't have enough game meat. So this is fish and grain. Yeah, okay, that works. We're not getting enough papyrus, I think. But maybe it's okay. Three Skyble schools. I think it's keeping up. Just worried about the papyrus coming in or not. We have three docks and they're still crowded. <laughs> oh, these docks. Bit of a mess, but okay. That house is starting to move in. Great, so that should stabilize employment. This monument. Now I've said it and we can forget it. Now, the reason why the bazaars are struggling is because you have one bazaar buying everything. Uh, yeah, that's why I've just doubled up the bazaars. That should, that should do it, right? Okay, okay. I think this has been a pretty good start to this mission. Disease is no longer happening. I think Bast is actually keeping them, uh, the diseases at bay. We've got a good source of grain farming going. We've got a temple complex all set up. Money is practically infinite. This monument is on the way. Um, space for the other monuments, like this medium pyramid. I can actually squeeze it here. That wouldn't be the worst thing, right? Like, I don't think I'm going to be putting a... What do you need? Plain stone, limestone? Yeah, it's the same stuff. Yeah, I'll put that there. Right? That looks good. Nice space-saving stuff. Uh, the final monument, the Sun Temple, cannot fit here. Maybe if I rotate? That can't go there. Sometimes rotating rotates the monument, but not this one. Okay. Sun Temple can't go there. Sun Temple's gonna have to go somewhere else. Maybe up there. I don't know. But this this pyramid can go here. And, and it'll look good together. It'll look good together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Min-maxing is good, right? <laughs> I am not a min-max gamer. Uh, I'm happy with this start. I just don't know if we can actually... hit the 30,000. Everything else... See, we need five palatial estates as well. That's gonna take up so much space. I should send a gift, though. Cheetahs and giraffes. Yeah, just get the kingdom rating up a bit. Okay, okay. But I think this this is this is good. So I think I will turn this into a series. Let's not push it all in one go. Two and a half hours for part one to get everything started and on the way. Reaching our goal is gonna be a problem. It's it's gonna it's gonna be an ordeal. I don't know if we can do it. I'll try. I'll squeeze another housing block here to fill up the gaps and we'll get to like six, seven thousand people. Um, but I don't know how to support 30,000 yet. We'll have to figure it out. Alright, that is going to be the end of today. 
Thank you all so much for joining. If you'd like to support the channel, please do subscribe on Twitch, follow on Twitch, become a YouTube member, check out Patreon, patreon.com slash gamersact. Direct support means we can reduce ads on YouTube, so thank you so much if you check those out. There's also a Humble Bundle referral link and a merch store where I design my own stuff like this thing. Uh, join us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Gamerzak. I'm active and contactable on all of those. And of course, the wonderful Discord community, discord.gg slash Gamerzak. And yeah, that's going to be it for now. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm happy to be playing some Pharaoh game, but maybe I bit off a bit more than I could chew. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, click the button on the screen right now to see more stuff. Or just watch the whole Pharaoh playthrough that I played over the course of seven years. And a Pharaoh, a new, Pharaoh New Era, a remake is on the way. I'm excited about that. We're going to have to play the whole thing again. All right, thanks for joining. I'll see you guys. Bye, guys. Bye.